Our coverage is brought to you by Secure Links Fencing. Quality fencing at an affordable price. Call for free estimates. We start our coverage of Southport's Homecoming Parade, featuring CBS's Frank Mickens and other Southport clubs. The parade had a Dr. Seuss theme as the Cardinals were taking on Southern Gibson Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. The Cardinals will enter the game 3-0 on the young season. After the parade, I head east to Franklin Central, where the Flashes are taking on Zionsville in a conference matchup. Franklin Central moves the ball downfield on their first possession and took several tries, but eventually they were punched into the end zone with their workhorse running back, Josh Woolley. Seven nothing. It was time to celebrate as the cheerleaders almost ran down the referees on their way through the end zone. Zionsville will try to get its offense into the game, but an interception from senior Luca Hodge prevented the Zionsville offense from getting into a rhythm. Once the Eagles got deep into Franklin Central territory in the second quarter, it was up to the defense to make the stop, and boy did they do it. Free safety Vaughn Tater would intercept this Eagle pass and take it 100 yards for a touchdown, put Franklin Central 14 to nothing. One more look at Vaughn Taylor's interception return as it's our secure main fencing May of the Week. Central fans in the first half as the defense shut the Eagles down. The Flash's offense, however, would not score another touchdown the rest of the game as it would take a last second field goal for Franklin Central to secure this win, 17 14 as the Flashes move to 3-1 on the season.